My name is Alone and welcome to another Zero to Hero episode and uh, in this one I will actually start off by doing more Chambers of Zarek and uh, I'm actually going to do another method this time because I can't do Deathless Ulm at this time because I'm not that comfortable with running the boss. So what I'm going to do to only be forced to have one death every single time instead of like two or three at Ulm or dying at the end where you lose a lot of points. I will go into the raid, die with all these supplies in my inventory, and then I will have them for the next attempt, so I will end at like 25k points. That is actually my first over 20k points raid completed. I did actually die another time, except the one where I dropped my supplies, but that was just a pure fail. I didn't even look at my HP and I just kinda died, so that was really really unfortunate. I know for sure I can do this now with only one death and get around 22k points, or probably more than that, like probably maybe even close to 30k points, even with a death, so that is really good to see. And the drop is a bit better now than when I had like no points at all. A bit more points this time at 23k, but I did actually die one time at Shaman's, which was just very stupid. I got comboed and uh, yeah, I just messed up pretty much. But uh, I could have had like 25k points maybe this run, which would have been a uh, nice improvement. But let's see what I get. Of course, no purple. The points are not quite there yet. And that is worth 243k. Actually, the first raid below one hour, 55 minutes, and I didn't screw up once, so that's probably why I only died once at Olm with the supply drop, so I intentionally died one time pretty much, but um, yeah, another white beam, and that is raid number 7 for 262k. So I'm going to try something, I'm going to get 200 pest control points and I'm going to buy the melee void helm which is actually the last one I need to have all the void pieces. Unfortunately not elite but that only gives prayer bonus so it's not really necessary. But I'm going to try to then sell my Samurakian Spear, my Bandos chest plates, and maybe try to get enough money for a Dragon Hunter Lance, because on the Mage Hand on Ulm, I'm doing so much damage, but on the Melee Hand, I'm really struggling with the Samurakian Hasta. So I will try to, both with less switches having Void, and with the Dragon Hunter Lance, if I can get my hands on it, Maybe I can do Ulm without dying, but we will have to see how that works. Actually, I thought that the Elite Void only gave a uh, prayer bonus and no other bonuses, but it actually does give accuracy and damage bonus to ranged and magic, primarily to range. So I do need to get that, and because of that I'm completing the Western Medium and then Hard Diaries, and one of the steps in the diaries required me to do Eye of Glophorine, so that is now completed, and if I go to my diaries, oh, 50 runecrafting for that as well, not bad. I am pretty much almost done with the medium one, I only need to do the chompies, and you can see now the Eye of Glophorine. I need to turn a small crystal seed into a crystal saw, and then I just have the hard ones to do, which I have other requirements for, so it shouldn't be too bad, and then I just have to get 400 points for the elite. I did not enjoy hunting these uh, 300 chompies birds but that is all the ones completed and uh, that is the medium and hard diaries completed I am pretty sure if I go down here it should be both the medium ones the medium ones done and then the hard ones all the way down here 300 kills done and I just have to claim the reward now, so perfect. As you always do with the reward lamps that you get from the diaries, you always put them on runecrafting, so I'm going to do that right now. Let's see the banner here for the hard diaries. Not the most impressive thing, but uh, these are really good. So let's put them on runecrafting for 15,000 experience, and then also the second one for, I think, 7.5k. So, like, 22.5k runecrafting experience. Yeah, definitely worth it. Two runecrafting levels from that. And that's it. That's the end of the void grind. 204 points and I already have the void top. So let's just get the leggings now and we have full elite void. Yes, please. That is now full elite void. So the plan is to sell some items and be able to buy the Dragon Hunter Lance and a BGS. And I think that if I put all this into the price check, which are items I don't need for raiding, it's 109 mil, so if I, I think with that money I should almost exactly be able to buy both the BGS and the Dragon Hunter Lawns. So here we now have the upgraded raid setup with the magic gear, of course with the trident, and then the ranged gear with the dragon crossbow and then of course a blowpipe. 
the laggiest world ever uh, that was so painful <laughs> it took like one second delay between every single thing i did but i did actually kill all with only one death on uh, the supply drop so no purple though unfortunately still doing over one hour raids unfortunately but um, i didn't use all of my brews at least this time and i got 25k points and that is not sure what uh, rain number, but let's see what we got. Obviously, it's going to be a white beam with the uh, points I'm getting, I guess. But that is uh, rain number 9. But I do have about a 3% chance of getting a purple, I think, with the current points that I get. 300k, pretty average. I actually do feel like I kind of start to understand a bit of how the head turning works. So I am actually avoiding some hits. I'm taking less than I am at least earlier in the video. And because of that, I swapped to Brimstone Boots and also an Amulet of Fury. And I s changed away a lot of the items that I had in my inventory. So I can actually have place for more brews. And I'm actually going to try to do a Deathless Ulm. Though I'm going to expect to die on the first attempts that I do it, but I can always go in there and then just finish it off anyways. I do feel like it's, feel like it's actually worth trying it rather than uh, getting just 25k point kills every single time forever. Okay, I still died, but I did get decently far I would say. I got to the uh, last phase before the head phase and uh, got pretty far on the hands as well. But that is again a white light for the 10th kill with 24,000 points. Ooh, dark relic. That is experience. Let's put that into probably agility, I would say. How much agility experience is that? 10,500. I'll take a quick break from raiding and do some Slayer. I actually want to really get a Hydra task now that I have a Dragon Hunter launch. And just in general, I want to hunt for boss tasks to uh, just in general do bossing. I really feel like it right now. And I'm really happy with uh, getting that 10 solo Chambers of Seric done. And of course, I am not really good at raiding, but I feel like doing 10 at least with 20k points per, uh, per raid in the end is not too bad. And I want to do some other bossing now. I have actually never done Black Dragons in the Evil Chicken's Lair. That is uh, quite a meme task, I would say. Look at this absolutely beastly weapon. 45 hit. I actually hit a 54 before. Uh, 17. Let's, uh, let's get a big hit here. 18. Okay, that's not impressive. 20. It's, it's hitting very consistently though. I really, really enjoy this weapon. Any dragon task in the future is going to be... Oh, 50. It's going to be so, so, so nice. Superior monsters in the uh, Priftinas Slayer dungeon actually always drops crystal shards now. It's a pretty recent update, so doing Slayer here is actually not that bad. 182 Hydras. Let's use the Dragon Hunter Lance. This is going to be interesting. I started with 500 KC and I'm uh, now at 523, so I've done 23 melee kills with the uh, Dragon Hunter Lance, but look at this, 3 minute kill, the other one was actually 2 minutes, so that was a fast one, 239, 202, so they are pretty inconsistent compared to the blowpipe, which is very very consistent, and I would say sometimes it's better than the blowpipe and sometimes it's worse, so with my current setup, I would say it's about the same, so I'm just going to go back to the blowpipe because it actually uh, is easier to do that as well. 75 kills in for 97 Slayer and uh, that's a pretty good drop I would say, pretty decent alkyballs like 100k but uh, two more levels until 99 Slayer. So one of my in real life friends actually recently just got decently raid ready, but he has never done raids before, but we managed to get our first Olm kill together, of course a 1 hour raid plus, and look at the points. He died a lot of times, but in the purpose of pretty much letting me get high points, so I didn't have to die a single time. So I actually got 33,000 points and we will be doing more duos in the future and he will learn Ulm and we will be able to both never die in duos, which is so nice. He actually uh, lended me his uh, armadillo chestplate and chain skirt just to try it on one trip of the alchemical hydra. I just want to see if it's a big difference compared to the uh, Carol's items and then I'll give them back. Hey, finally, I got a drop with 46 kills left on the trip. That's like 140 kills for a hydra leather. I think that's my fourth or third leather on the alchemical hydra and I got another heads as well I think I have five now can we get loot on the last hydra kill of the entire task 
Nope, blood runes are not bad though, but uh, yeah, 682 kill count now all the way from 500. As a matter of fact, I have 965 cave cracking kills, so this task will actually get me above 1k. And I still don't have the pet, but I think the uh, drop rate is like 1 in 3k, so not there quite yet. Very early trident of the seas, 1 mil drop pretty much, because it is a full trident on kill number 974. Have a look at that, KZ over 1000 now, and no pet this run, but uh, 580 tasks, so 20 more and I will get that big 600 which I will do on Konar. It took some time, but this is my second 99 for the entire account. 99 ranged has now been completed, and that means my skill capes are now trimmed, because my only other one was hit points. And I'm actually very close to 99 strength as well, only 559k experience to that, so soon 399s in combat, very nice. My combat level right now is a 120. And of course, uh, now with 99 ranged, we have to get the skill cape, that is now a trimmed skill cape, I have two of them, hit points and ranged. Let's see how this looks, it actually fits very good with Carol's, might be a skilling outfit in the future, so... Yeah, very happy about that. So my current raid KC is 13 and I just bought, by the way, a dragon pickaxe because I got some money back and uh, now I have the dragon pickaxe ornament which looks very nice. Small upgrade there for raids but I do want to end on 15 raids done so I will do two solos now so let's see if we can get something. Just slightly below one hour raid, let's see what we get for raid number 14, another yellow light. Unfortunately, but how much is it going to be worth? Wait, that's actually so low, I think. That's not worth much at all. Oh, it's actually 360k, not that bad. So now that I've done 15 kills, I can get pretty much to the head phase without having to use any of the supplies on the ground. I still have all of these on the ground here and these in my inventory, but at the head phase, I do definitely have to start picking up these supplies because that is where I take most of the damage. I can do the mage running very well, but the melee running is not that great. And it, it is definitely what I have to practice on. But let's see. Another white beam for number 15 raid. Let's see what we get. Okay, average drop 200k. So no, pur no purples yet, but of course you can't really expect that after 15 raids with 25k points. Let's end off the video with looking at the slides again. I still have the Nightmare, Vorkath, Callisto. Corporal Beast and the Giant Mold on the first one, but I got no progress on bosses in this entire tab in this video. But I do want to complete Dragon Slayer 2 very soon to be able to do the Vorkath. On the second slide, we have pretty much only raids left and suck, which is really nice to see. And we made a decent amount of progress on Kraken, Alchemical Hydra, and also 30 Abyssal Sire kills that was off video. Wasn't really that interesting enough to show. But if you look at the raid KC on uh, Olm, 15 now. But it's still a red X, and the reason why I still have that red X instead of a green tick mark, which I usually put after I've gotten a few kills, is because I don't really feel like I've perfected it at all yet. And some of the other bosses in the game is way easier to perfect, so after like 100 kills, maybe even 15 kills, I feel like I'm really good at the boss, but not with raids, so I will not have that as a green marker just yet. So before I end the video, I just want to give a shout out to my Discord. If you want to join it, the link to that Discord is in the top of the description. It will be really nice to have you there. We are having a lot of fun in there, so it was a great thing to actually start a Discord. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So if you want to join us there, please join. And I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I will get back to Chambers of Zarek and start getting better at the melee running. Also, in the next video, I will probably take off some of the easier bosses like Giant Mole alongside with more raiding. So I uh, hope you guys will enjoy that and uh, have a good one guys, take care.